this video intended for educational purposes. Hey guys, it's Adam, aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back again for another Minecraft snapshot. This is 13W6A for Thursday, February 7th, 2013. A bunch of bug fixes as we're getting really close to 1.5's release. But there's a couple new features today, and I will go over all that. Now the first one is a new item. This is the minecart with spawner. As you can see, I've set up a few here that have uh, some chicken and some villager spawning. If I turn it to night, I can actually show you that I've got a few others. Uh, one's got zombies, one's just like a general monster spawner that doesn't seem to spawn as frequently. But if we get close enough to these, hopefully we'll get a zombie to spawn. Uh, basic oh, their villagers popped out of that one. Basically, uh, these could probably be used in adventure maps. You have to go in and use a filter to make these in MC Edit or like an MBT editor, but you can create these custom minecarts uh, that you can send around that will spawn different things, even different entities that they can work just like a spawner spawning like items and stuff. So I'm sure these are going to be used in a lot of adventure maps and custom, custom uh, things here. There goes the zombie. And one of the things I notice is that because of the minecart tracks and monsters not wanting to walk over them, the, the villagers can kind of hide on the other side here and the zombie can't get them. But anyways, uh, these were also used by uh, like Seth Bling. He made a, a way to uh, basically set up a spawner that would spawn something and then he could use lava to destroy that spawner minecart with a, a flick of a switch so you could turn these on and off, which you can't do with normal spawners. So that's pretty awesome. I even went in and was able to uh, spawn spawner carts from spawner carts in, into infinity, <laughs> infinity, and there's just a ton of spawner carts and stuff. And I've got one uh, little treat here with the spawner cart I'll show you towards the end. But first I want to talk about the lighting changes now. Dinnerbone and Jeb have been working on fixing the lighting engine, and uh, for the most part it looks pretty good. Uh, I've, I've heard that a lot of people who are getting upwards of like 70, 80 frames per second are now getting like 40 or lower. So uh, it's it's probably going to be something they'll have to work on yet again. It's another one of those things with the lighting engine where it always seems to slow the game down no matter what they do. So hopefully they'll hammer that out. I flew around and I found here's a couple shots of just like areas where shadows were still messed up. So it's not perfect for sure. And it's slowing the game down a bit for people. So hopefully they will fix that. Now, uh, before I go into the surprise thing, let's quickly go through some of the bug fixes. Now, uh, over here, I've set up this. I'm going to turn this on here, and uh, we're using the comparator. I'm going to release a ton of bugs here, and we're just going to destroy them. Now, the first bug I want to talk about here is this one, the pig jumping bug. Uh, I'll cut to a clip here. The pigs uh, on, on the half slabs and stairs used to jump up and down when you would ride them but that has been fixed now as you can see so let's destroy these bam that bug is gone and with it a bunch of uh, <laughs> experience everywhere and then over here the other one Z fighting uh, this is it uh, when the textures of uh, a model kind of tear together and this I'm gonna just stamp out real quick and I can show you on uh, on stairs and just normal blocks when the the iron bars and the glass panes were connected it used to have a lot of that Z fighting tearing but now it looks pretty good it's not doing what it did before so those bugs are stamped out over here I've got uh, this pen to show you that the hitboxes of uh, baby mobs like uh, villagers or anything else, mushrooms, any animal here, they used to be uh, the same size at, or at least not you know, the right size for them and I can show you this by pushing F3 and B. This is the hitbox size of these but as you can see now the baby villager is small enough to go under uh, this half slab which before because they had kind of the basic hitbox of the adult they couldn't go under there so now you can make different things that exclude baby animals so it only it waits till they grow up to maybe slaughter them for meat and stuff like that so that's pretty cool and again f3 and b if you want to see the hitboxes of stuff as you can see here uh, that's one of the little secret quirk things in minecraft so yeah for the most part that's a lot of the fixes they fix like torches and villages not floating stuff like that wither skeleton hitbox but i'm going to go over here and show you some last uh, couple of custom spawner things I've, I made. I've got one over here. I think I should set it to night because it seems to work better. It might just be my mind fooling me with me. But I've got some of these 
these custom uh, minecart spawners over here that are spawning withers. And let me see if I can get this one to work. They should be spawning multiple withers at a time. There we go. So three popped out, and they're trying to kill an enderman. Uh, you can set these even higher. I didn't want to destroy this world, so I only put so many. But these guys, I think they'll actually fight each other if they start hurting each other. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> A bunch of withers just run around. You could set up some of these carts, maybe, and just push them into somebody's base, and they are just going to be screwed because of how many withers end up spawning. So that is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this. We are getting very close to 1.5 the redstone update coming out probably definitely within this month. Oh, there goes some more withers. Uh, I'm gonna say definitely within February I would I would think because they are pretty close. They've basically stopped adding features and we're gonna get a lot of bug fixes but we should have that pre-release here within the next few weeks. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.